Passage 4. Speaking with your eyes. When we think about communicating with other people, we usually think about talking or writing. That is, we think about using words. However, much of the communication that takes place in person happens without words. It happens through nonverbal communication. We send nonverbal messages in many ways, including with our face, our hands, and the way we stand, move, and use the space around us. We get messages from others in the same way. Our eyes play an especially important role. Researchers who study this role use the term eye behavior. It refers to both the things we do with our eyes without realizing it and the things we do on purpose. One area of eye behavior is eye contact. Imagine yourself walking along a busy city sidewalk. What are your eyes doing? Do you focus on anything, or are your eyes moving all the time? What are other people's eyes doing? If you are in a U.S. city, there are probably few people making eye contact. If your eyes meet a stranger's, chances are that he or she will quickly look away. If the stranger does not look away but maintains eye contact, it may be a sign of attraction. Eye contact shows that we are paying attention. It may mean nothing more than we are being polite. Or it may mean something else. We often use our eyes to express interest in someone. Because it is natural to look at things we find attractive, keeping our eyes on someone can be like paying the person a compliment. Looking at something attractive actually brings about a change in our eyes. It makes our pupils, those small round black areas in the middle of our eyes, grow larger. Large pupils then make our eyes more attractive. Research has shown that eye contact can also influence whether someone finds another person attractive. In a study at the University of Aberdeen in Scotland, Dr. Claire Conway asked participants to look at photos of faces. There were photos of people smiling and looking directly at the viewer, and there were photos of those same people smiling but looking away. Dr. Conway said faces that were looking directly at the viewer were considered more attractive. This was especially true for faces of the opposite sex. Dr. Conway suggests that something in the human brain makes us prefer the faces of people who make eye contact with us. When they are looking at us, they seem to like us. If they like us, that makes them more attractive to us. Of course, a face in a photo is one thing, and a real person looking at you is something else. How do you feel when someone makes eye contact with you and keeps on looking? Does it make the person seem attractive? Or does it make you feel uncomfortable or even afraid? How we read people's eye behavior depends in part on our culture. In some cultures, making and keeping eye contact is a sign of respect. In others, it has the opposite effect. As we grow up, we learn the rules of our culture for nonverbal communication in general and eye contact in particular. We learn what we are expected to do and what we are allowed to do. But even as an adult, you may find there is still more to learn about the language of the eyes.